Every few years, we hear the word Wonder Kid being thrown around left and right by both fans and the media. They're called Wonder Kids for a reason. Compared to the rest of their peers, they stand above in skill, technique, athleticism, or whatever it is that makes you think that this person can be at the top of their generation. But that's the thing, we'll never really know if these up and coming youngsters actually live up to their hype or end up being a massive disappointment. The only thing we can really see at the moment is their potential. But what makes Brazilian wonder kid Hendrik Felipe so special is that at only 16 years old, an insane amount of money was put where the hype is. An over 60 million euro bet made by Real Madrid to sign the youngster in advance to come and play for them when he gets old enough. That's right, the most prestigious club in football history just spent a bag and signed what many believe to be the next Ronaldo or Romario. So today, we're gonna look at just how good Hendrik is and see if he's really worth the insane price tag. When it comes to Brazilian wonder kids, I'm sure many of you are skeptical. In the past two decades, there was so much hype behind them. Promises of young players who were supposed to be the next Brazilian great came almost way too often, only to eventually burn out quickly before they can even reach their primes and end up becoming massive disappointments. You've seen it in guys like Adriano, Rubinho, Alexander Pato, and many more. But this time with Endrick, it might actually be different because Real Madrid actually paid big Big to secure signing, which is something we've never seen before. Even for a Brazilian star as hyped as Neymar was, at the age of 16, nobody was really confident enough to pay for his rights. Barcelona didn't make a move for him until he was 18. Even Kylian Mbappe, as impressive as he was as a teenager, didn't nearly see the same amount of confidence from a club at 16 years old. That's because so many things could happen. Maybe they're just in good form while they're in their younger years, or they suffer an unfortunate injury like what ended up happening to many wonder kids before. Injuries really do suck. But today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, has your back. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury firm with more than 800 attorneys nationwide. They've recovered over $15 billion for their clients. And the most amazing part is that you pay nothing upfront for their services. Yes, you heard that right. The fee is completely free unless they help you win your claim. No upfront cost or sign-up fees. Your health and body is worth so much. And to risk never being able to play football again or even just suffering through an injury is definitely not worth it. So if you're ever injured in an accident, dial pound law or 529 from your cell phone or visit www.forthepeople.com and check out Morgan & Morgan to submit a claim. Thanks to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring today's video. But despite all the risk, Endrick is worth the hype. But we'll have to look at his incredibly young career so far to see if he has potential to be the real deal or not. Like many football stories I've shared in the past, Endrick grew up in extreme poverty in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. At the age of four, Endrick would start to play football, and his family noticed he was incredibly coordinated at such a young age. This led to his father eventually recording him as he got older, posting videos of Endrick scoring goals online, even going as far as sending the footage to several big Brazilian clubs to try and get his son into their youth programs. At a young age, Endrick knew he was a special talent, and it was quite obvious to anyone who saw him play. The possibility that Endrick would have the chance to go pro was very, very real. This led the young boy to promise to his family that he would do his best and work his hardest to be able to become a pro and help his family escape poverty. So you can already see from his situation that Endrick was forced to grow up quickly and has the hunger and drive to make it not only for himself, but for those he loves as well. And that is exactly the type of fire burning inside that differentiates Academy Legacy prospects of this generation from those who have to climb out of the mud with nothing to their name. By the time he was 11, Endrick finally made a big step into his journey to become a pro when he joined the Palmeiras youth team. In five years with the club, Endrick scored 165 goals in 169 matches. But what really put Endrick out there in the global stage was the 2022 Sao Paulo Youth Cup the biggest and most important under 20 sports competition in Brazil, and basically where the best youth teams in the country go to face off. During the tournament, he looked like a man playing amongst boys, dominating the competition and easily outshining every other youth player in the country. And it wasn't even close, scoring some incredible goals, including this insane bicycle kick. 
Bola tá alta. Hendrik, que isso? Hendrik was an unquestionable star with seven goals and seven appearances, leading his club to Palmeiras' first ever Youth Cup title and winning the Player of the Tournament award as well. This type of youth performance in Brazil has only been done by the most elite of Brazil's all-time goal-scoring greats like Pele, Ronaldo, and Romario. Hendrik is a very strong kid with good pace, incredible dribbling, touch, and skill, and to top it all off, insane finishing. He is as traditional of a Brazilian striker as you can think of. When many hear Hendrik's story, they think of comparing him to Vinicius Jr. After all, they're both very young, incredibly talented, and both Brazilian. But that's basically where it ends, because in terms of playstyle, the most common comparison Hendrik gets is a mixture of Kylian Mbappe, Ronaldo, and Romario. Although not as fast as Mbappe, Hendrik's speed is special. This is because he's able to run and maintain his top speed while dribbling with the ball, whereas Mbappe usually pushes the ball forward and sprints to it like Gareth Bale did a lot in his prime. Both Mbappe and Hendrik also like to attack from the flank and often go for goal in the near post or far post. Hendrik himself has admitted that he shares a similar playstyle with Mbappe in an interview. But many people in Brazil see Hendrik as the next Ronaldo. The goal scoring comparisons are easy to see, but Hendrik also has incredible strength and center of gravity like Ronaldo. At 16 years old, he's only 5 foot 8 or about 173 centimeters, but he's already a physical force to be reckoned with. The guy has a very thick bone density and can body defenders while staying on his feet. Give Hendrik a few years and he'll most likely grow taller, but at the very least, he's definitely gonna get even stronger. Unlike Neymar at the same age who was very frail, skinny, and would dive a lot, Hendrik refuses to fall when he's going for goal. If he's fouled or tackled, he'll get back on his feet and continue to play. Kid will never dive much like Ronaldo and Romario did in their younger days when they had the ball around the box. Hendrik also has great touch and skill, but prefers to finish the ball and score as quickly as possible without any wasted movements in the same way the Brazilian goal scoring legends did. Comparing Hendrik to other wonder kids today like Gavi or Chavi Simmons, for example, the difference in their composure is night and day. If Hendrik stays healthy enough and continues to develop and grow stronger, you might very well see people add a prime Adriano to the list of comparisons because the kid already has insane shot power and can go for goal from distance. Just a few months ago in October, Hendrik made his professional debut for the Palmeiras men's team. That means at 16 years old, this guy is already battling against grown professional men and still holding his own. And in that very same month, Hendrik became the second youngest goal scorer ever in the history of the Brazilian First Division League. And as of right now, he has around three goals in about 400 minutes, or roughly four and a half matches of total play, which considering his age, is is incredibly impressive. Heck, in his first match for Brazil's under-17 youth squad, he made an absolute mockery of the English U-17 squad with incredible playmaking and putting on a dribbling masterclass while scoring an absolute banger of a goal. There is definitely no player in the world his age that can match up to Hendrik as of right now. Naturally, big clubs from all over Europe showed interest in Hendrik, including PSG, Chelsea, Barcelona, Man City, and many more more, but it was Madrid who was able to secure the wonder kid with an over 60 million euro fee to secure his rights when he becomes old enough to transfer over and play in Europe. And with the way Madrid developed and gave chances to other young Brazilian talents like Rodrigo and Vinny Jr., it's honestly a no-brainer. And the fact that Hendrik idolized Cristiano Ronaldo growing up definitely helped in Madrid's favor as well. But in the words of Hendrik himself, I'll always fight and I'll always be persistent and try until the last minute I'm in the game. I never give up, I pressure defenders, and I run more than anyone else on the pitch. And when you have this hardworking mentality combined with very, very humble beginnings, you almost never bet against it. So hopefully, Hendrik can stay healthy and continue to develop his talents and strength. Because come 2024, he'll make his debut in Europe and show the world what he can do. And if he does, he will be a joy for football fans all over the world. And I believe we'll be hearing a lot more about Hendrik in the years to come.